Oh, it's such a weird job, man, <laughs> being a comedian. Dude, seven years, I have nothing to be proud of, okay? When I say I have nothing to be proud of, my one-hour solo special is called Nothing to be Proud of. <laughs> I'm shamelessly marketing another show during this one, okay? <laughs> no, the reason why it's called Nothing to be Proud of is because I know how many tickets I can sell. Because <laughs> the first time I took the show to Bombay, I sold one ticket. And that guy came also. <laughs> He meets me outside the venue and he's like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm meeting the artist before the show. I'm also like, oh my God, can't believe I'm meeting my entire audience before the show. Second time I take it to Bombay, I sell four tickets. I'm like, come on, career is growing now. <laughs> 20 minutes before the show, this couple walks in and they're like, oh, there's still 20 minutes. We'll quickly get something to eat and come back. They leave. Then another couple walks in and now I have an opening act. That guy's supposed to do five minutes. He does 25 minutes. Because we are waiting for that couple to come back. <laughs> He's like, bro, I'm out of material early. I'm like, fuck it, call me on. Fuck it. It's one couple in me. <laughs> I looked at him, the guy's private show for you. What, what else is going to happen, right? So I'm chatting with them. Turns out the guy is my diehard fan. Yeah, don't look with disbelief. I have some there. there. <laughs> Wherever. Right? No, he'd seen me on Amazon Prime. He'd seen every video I'd put on YouTube. He loves my stand-up. She is his new fiancé, and she's not a fan of stand-up. <laughs> Forget me as an artist. She doesn't consider this an art form. And he has brought her for my one-hour show. And then he looks at me and he's like, Hey, bro, do that one, no? <laughs> Guys, I'm an actual human being. I'm not my YouTube channel, dude. What the fuck? But he's my fan. I had one at the time, so like, keep him, so I do the joke. I did that joke, then he looks at me, he's like, now do that turn. No, no. He's customizing the playlist also, not even the playlist that I uploaded. Eh? But he's my fan, I'll do the joke. And most annoying thing, every time I'm landing like a joke, like a tag or a punchline, she just nods. Like I acknowledge. You try it. <laughs> keep trying. I keep acknowledging. Even more annoying, the guy's not watching me, he's watching her. I'm like, hey, put her on the stage. No, I'll do the jokes from the audience. <laughs> Two thirds of the room is focused on her face right now. Give her the spotlight, right? Now, I'm, I'm now, now it hits me, okay? It hits me that I've done almost half an hour of material that is available on YouTube for free. <laughs> he couldn't convince her to watch it at home. He has dragged her to my one-hour show and is now making me perform them for her. That's when it hits me, this engagement is now dependent on my performance, not his. I'm like, close your eyes, it's not two people, it's 2,000 people. Sell the jokes, sell the jokes, sell the jokes. Now full energy, I'm selling the jokes, I finally land one joke and then she just goes, ha <laughs> It's a weird laugh, but I'm like, Abba, finally I broke her, right? Now the show can start. Before I can say anything, she stands up, says, thank you, that's enough. <laughs> and then me and the guy immediately looked at each other because we didn't know that that's enough was for my show for the engagement because she's walked out. <laughs> this dude jumps up onto the stage, puts his arm around my shoulders and takes a selfie. Doesn't ask. <laughs> Just takes a selfie and then into the mic yells, baby, baby, I'm supposed to drop you home and then fucks off. Have you guys ever been watching something on your laptop and then just closed your laptop? <laughs> I was still on stage with a mic in my hand, dude. It's the only time in my life audience decided it shows over and left. I'm like, what the fuck? I put the mic down right outside this place. There's a bar. I was like, I have to go drink to process what just happened to me. I walk into the bar, the first thing I see is that couple that didn't come back. <laughs> They're sitting right next to each other, one earphone in each ear, and the guy is showing her my YouTube videos. I'm like, I'm... 